Has Clarice called with an ETA on the layout? No. Did it occur to you you should maybe check in with her? I'm busy, if you haven't noticed. Do you have a minute? No, she doesn't. This is a place of business, not a hookup station. I'll try to make it quick. Wow. Oh, okay. What is this? It's, uh, the money I borrowed from Crimson's Petty Cash. That's okay. I used the money I stole from the Honda Star to restock the cash box. Right, but that's your old man's money. This is mine. I'm not one to take over without squaring my debts. You're leaving? Tonight. Like a, a vacation or something? Maybe. For now, I'm headed back to Australia. Wow, okay, that's... I mean, I just thought you were happily placed in the middle of my dad's life and it didn't seem like you were gonna leave that position anytime soon. What changed? Kate, uh, Clarice has not checked in yet, but I was just about to call her. The fall test shots are on your desk. Uh, the model looks a little dissipated, maybe too much partying, but I was gonna have Gregory talk to her. Okay, and did Neela's gowns make it back to Milan? Maxie, did you send the clothes back? If you have been too wrapped up in your personal angst to your job, I'm going to be very disappointed. Kate, I'm really sorry, but you have no idea how much turmoil my life has been in since the feds since It's not jail. really my concern, Maxie. My concern is running a magazine. I have clients to service, and clearly you have been too distracted to do the simplest Wait, task. this is been a misunderstanding. Yes, Maxie has been very distracted, but after hours, not here, um, except for one little slip up. Um, she forgot to email you the confirmation, the shipping confirmation for Neela's gowns. They were sent to Milan. She just forgot to tell you. So here you go. Sorry, I should have reminded you to send it to Kate. I am sensing a level of duplicity, but all that really matters is the gowns made it back in time. And, well, clearly they did. So, good teamwork. I'm glad to see you're learning something around here. You just saved my ass. You're welcome. Okay, why, Lulu? Are you trying to lull me into a false sense of security before you chop my head off? Why don't you just accept it as the generous gesture that it is and owe me one? All right, thanks. I'm sorry, I forgot you were here. Oh, well, that was a fascinating display. You know, you're a lot more clever than people give you credit for. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, see, I'm good at reading body language, love. You know, the oh, I knew you had an ace up your sleeve from the minute I saw you, you know? You just had a little bet with myself as to when you were going to play it. Really? Yeah. Who won? Well, I did. Huh. <laughs> so I don't know what I came here to do. I'll be on my way. Um. I mean, does this have to do with my dad? Like, uh, you stole something from him that he can't just laugh off, and now you're running for your life? No. Let's just say I'm leaving before I attempt to fight. <laughs> it's been a pleasure to meet you, Lulu Spencer, and I hope I'll pass across again. I need to thank you. I was really upset about Spinelli. I spaced on shipping the dresses back to Milan. And if Kate had found out, I would have been demoted to a cubicle in the ad department. So thank you, and how did you n know to do that? Purely selfish. If Kate fires one of us, she fires us both. I know you've been distracted lately, so I have been double-checking your work and following up when necessary. And you didn't even gloat about it? There's no reason to gloat. I shouldn't have blamed you for my breakup with Johnny. The problems that caught up with us were there from the start. We would have broke up eventually, whether you stuck your nose in things or not. And right now, I'd really like to just drop it. That works for me. Hey, that's your message. You desperately needed to see me? Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were here. Obviously. Don't go reading into things. I called Johnny here on Kate's instructions. She's sending us to Mimi Bay's annual fashion event, and she wants to fit Johnny for his tux. That's why you so desperately needed to see him? I over-dramatize everything to get what I need done, done. Wow, how self-aware of you. You think you'd be able to stop. I've tried so many times. It just doesn't really work. Anyway, in the interest of full disclosure, so you don't freak out, Johnny and I might need to stay overnight in Soho, so I booked two separate rooms. Here, see. Hi, see, I thought I told you to get... Oh, good, you're here. They're expecting us in the sample room. I want to see how you two will look on the red carpet. Why? Why? <laughs> 
Why? Because this is an extremely important event. Mimi Bay's collection will get international coverage, and you know what? If you two handle this right, I may send you to Paris or Milan next season. So come on, let's go. <sighs> is there a problem? No, there's no problem. I'm, I, I'm going to call Federico while you're gone and make sure that he's signed off on the suit and I'll check in with Mimi's publicity people to make sure that they get prime coverage on the red carpet. Excellent, Lulu. So just call me if Fetty has any changes. layout meeting. Her evening schedule is confirmed and I've emailed it to her PDA. Great. What is this book? Oh, um, the latest copy of, uh, Magenta Man. The, they sent us an advanced copy and Trent's was going to send it back and I know Spinelli loves that stuff so I thought you could give it to him. At the sound of hell freezing over, why are you being nice to me? I'm having a weak moment. Don't get used to it. Kate Howard's office. This is Maxie Jones. How can I help you? Yeah, I can do that. One second. 